Okay, back again YouTube. Um, last video you saw that I completed this part. Um, well, at least I thought I completed it. I'm going to have to modify it a little bit and I'll explain to you why in a minute. Um, I got the brackets cut out for the rear mount or the base mount of that ram. And basically, hopefully you can get an idea of how this is going to work now. Um, I'm going to put, let me see here, I'm going to box in from here to here, this side, get my camera to focus, there we go, from here to here, and I don't know if I'm going to box in this direction right away. Um, i got to mount the ram in there first before I do that because I need to make sure there's enough clearance. At the very least, I'll do maybe like an inch over past this, past this bend here. Um, and just, just to give it a little bit of rigidity. And the ram is essentially going to mount in this direction right here. So I'll probably be able to guess it or box in a little bit further than, I, than I'm anticipating. But it's one of those things where I, I don't want to do it until I get the ram fully mounted in there and then I can... Then I can go from there and find out how much clearance I have. Okay, so this other side right here will be boxed in from the corner. And actually, it's going to come out this direction as well. But it's another one of those things where I've got to, I've got to mount the ram in there to find out. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a, like a half circle box boxing right in there so it's got room and, and still supports as well and then it's going to come all the way along the side boxed all the way in um, I'm still not sure what I'm going to do right here in this section and the reason being is this is this is pretty far I think this is like seven inches or so um, let me measure it real quick it is six inches um, one other thing, if you look at here, obviously I got a square on there, and that is about a half inch off. Um, as I get closer to the corner, it becomes more precise. This is not perfect by any means. The reason why this is a little bit off is because this top plate needs to be kind of banged this direction a little bit. Um, but I mounted them both, I clamped them both together and, and ground the edges off. So they're the exact same shape, the holes are in the exact same spot. It's just really difficult when there's a little bit of uh, play in these bolts to get it lined up perfectly. You're going to have to tap it, you know, so that they line up just right. You know, <clears throat> one thing that I will say though, this was a bastard getting these two plates in. That was nothing. This is no joke. Um, the reason why that was so difficult is because this is all set up already and this die set is really damn heavy, okay, like extremely heavy. So I'm having to, as soon as these bolts come out, it's no longer mounted to this, this mount over here, so I'm having to wrestle this thing around. I just took it completely off and had it on my lap and, you know, I'm trying to, it would have been nice to have an extra set of hands basically. Um, but I did get it, and like I said, I, I've got to do a little bit of adjusting here, but that's no big deal. Um, there's no cutting, I just got to tap those, those things into alignment, <clears throat> which is no big deal at all. So anyways, I'm going to box in this side, and over here, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I thought about cutting these tabs completely off and just boxing this in, and then building a smaller mount that comes out this direction. And I can still utilize those pieces, I'll just bring them down a little bit. Um, I'm not quite sure yet. I'm going to focus right now on getting these lined up properly and getting the, the, the parts boxed in that I know for sure are going to be boxed in. And then, then I'll go from there. So, that's what we got going on right now. Um, I'm going to splice together let me see, it's about 12.30. I'm going to at least box those sections in before I head to bed. So I'm going to splice in the second part of this video so it's all one. 
Uh, yeah, stay tuned. Okay, so here's what I got going on. Um, I boxed in two sections already, these two sections. This is super strong already. There's a, there's very minimal flex, and, and, and the flex I'm, I'm feeling is right here where this mount's going to be. Um, the plan is I'm going to box in this other side here, but I'm not going to do it all the way long because the tube, the ram's got to run through there. So when I get to this bend here, I'm going to angle it in and connect it to this this wall to seal it off. I don't want a bunch of crap in there. Um, I'm going to cut these tabs off, this one and this one. I'm going to box this in so it's just a square. Then I'm going to take these tabs and I'm going to take them over here and I'm going to make them just big enough for this ram to slide into. I'm going to box it in and, and, and cut and drill the holes for the bolt. Um, I'm just going to actually just make the bolt just drop through. And, and the reason being is because I bought a bolt that was too long. But it doesn't really matter because it's, it's going in this way and the only load on it is coming back this direction. So it'll be fine. I could actually even use a pin. So if that makes sense to you, it would be like me taking, let's say this is the inside box area. I'm going to bring that tab down to like right here and put another one right here and then box it in so that 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 ram will sit center and I don't have to use any spacers or tubing to get it to sit center. So I'm just going to use this and this one for that and then box that in. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to box any of this in right here. If I do I'm going to use 16 gauge metal just to keep the weight down. Um, like I said this, is, this whole section over here is really strong. I don't think it needs anything. And, and same thing with right here. If I, if I do any boxing in like cosmetic type boxing in, it's going to be with a 16 gauge just because it's it's cheaper, and you know I don't want to waste all my three um, three sixteenths metal. Um, so that's all that's all ready for already explained, and, and you get that process. Earlier in the video, I had talked about needing to potentially modifying this, and let me explain why. Um, this bar here, I knew it, but I wasn't thinking about it. It actually slides underneath this one about a quarter inch or so. Um, obviously, with this plate on top all the way to the edge, it doesn't allow it to slide underneath there anymore. So I was thinking I was going to have to take this off and, and trim some of that. However, I don't. Um, and this is why. This only needs to collapse enough for me to reposition this pin when, when I'm bending tubing, okay? Each one of these holes is a reposition point, okay? So if I'm bending the tubing, this is coming out like this, and I'm going to stop when this anti-spring back pin drops in, okay? Boom. Then I'm going to, you know, let's... Let's assume that this is all in there, connected the way it's supposed to be. Anti-spring back pin dropped in. I can no longer bring it back past this point. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this pin, move this back a little bit, drop the pin in, and move this back to the point where it drops in the next hole. Okay? There it goes. I'm close. But it's, it's, I've got about a sixteenth of an inch and it dropped in there. So I'm good. I don't have to modify this at all. So that, that was my concern. Now I know that I don't have to change it. It works okay. Let me reposition this. And, and everything's good. Okay. So that's what we have going on. I hope you guys are enjoying this, this modification, this build. Um, I know this looks like a lot of weight, but it's kind of okay because these die sets are really heavy. Um, I do plan on getting a two inch die set. I also plan on getting an um, inch and a half and one inch, and probably not anything smaller than that. And they're all going to be um, six, 6 6.5 inch radius. I might, you know, with the, the inch, inch and a half and, and, 
an inch. I might I might drop down to a 5.5 radius, but I'm not sure. So it, it's still going to be pretty heavy. And so I'm not going to. The weight kind of offsets it and, and helps balance it out, and and I think it's okay. It, it does look definitely beefy. There's no doubt about that. But it needs to be strong, and and this is a tool that I plan on using a lot, hopefully, if I can muster up the work. And that's pretty much it. So subscribe, comment, like. Let me know that you're watching this thing. If if you are, you know, just a quick hello, something in the comment box, and. Check out the link in the the links in the description. I got a link to JD Squared down there. I also got a link to my Facebook page. Like my Facebook page, show some support, and I'll talk to you guys later.